Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle Admin 1 on Linux. In this tutorial, we will discuss about Oracle, how to create additional listener, Oracle showing parameter local, Oracle checking listener status by CRS CTL cluster ready service, checking listener status by server control SRB CTL, checking listener status by LSNR CTL status. Adding listener by server control. How to a listener support service of a database. Adding multiple address in address list in listener. Restarting the system for listener changes. Shared server configuration showing parameter. Shared showing parameter dispatch showing parameter circuit. Advantages disadvantages of shared and dedicated server how to create additional listener so first we need to check the local parameter so how do we do that this is the oracle user so i just want to uh, log in with our uh, create an environment with uh, sql so sql plus slash as cstba show user this is the user C, sys, so yes, yeah. I just want to clear this screen. Now I just want to see the local parameter. So, parameter uh, local, here yeah, the listener, local listener, and the drive, and this is the value of this listener. So, this is the actually listener name. So, Check listener status by CRS CTL cluster query service. So, how do we do that? CRS CTL status race minus T to see tabular format. Here we can see the uh, unknown command. So, we need to uh, log in with grid user. So, here it is in the grid user so i just want to clear the screen see and you see clear clear so here we need to execute this crs statement crs cluster ready service ctl status status minus t here we can see the local resources this is clustered resources so here we can see the ora db 167.db and here we can see the listener listener.lsnr so this is the location of uh, oracle product 19c db home actually so this is the database location so here the listener and local resources and cluster resources let's check listener status by service control a service ctl so if we clear the screen a service ctl we also can uh, check the status by using this server control store uh, server control utility a service ctl ctl then status then place in now minus l ls this is the listener name actually so after hitting an enter key we can see the listener is enabled and running on node db167 now check the listener status so lsnr ctl then status here we can see the instance device status is ready for this service clear let's add listener by server control a service ctl so how do we do that srv ctl add listener minus l and listener name l i s t e n e r listener 
L I S T E N E R listener minus P. This is the port. So I just want to use the port 15 to 2. So after hitting on enter key, we can see our listener added with the name of listener 2. So how do we enable this listener? So SRV CTL enable listener minus L L I S T E N E R to after hitting an enter key we can see listener to already enabled so resource already enabled this means that, that when you create a listener by using SRV CTL our listener newly created new listener enabled automatically so how do we start this listener SRV CTL start listener minus L listener to have creating an enter key or listener started so if we check the listener uh, status this ls ls and r ctl then status then listener name l i s t e n e r 2 here we can see uh, we actually uh, mistake the here we do not need r l s n l s n r c t l and then status after hitting the enter key we can see no services the listener supports no services so how do we resolve this problem one thing is remember here the listener is enabled and online but the listener supports no services let's see how do we solve this problem let's add multiple address in address list in listener i just want to clear the screen first and here the command walter system set local uh, local listener and this is the local parameter name actually then address list here i added this one and then this one after hitting on enter key common not found opening the notepad note notepad there it is so i just want to uh, Actually, this one alter system set local listener and then I just want to uh, format this in one line and then this one and after then this one here address list this is the address one with the port 1521 and this is the another address which is uh, 15 to 2 port so i just want to copy this one and go back to put it with the user grid so if i execute this one sorry uh, what is mine this is the file so copying the, that file that uh, line post paste it here after hitting an enter key we can see the alter system not found so oh sorry we need to uh, log in with this user so that's uh, for reason the comment not working at all so if I execute this one here yeah, alter system just want to clear the screen 
and now you will check the local parameter so so parameter local here we can see the local listener changed to this one and this one we have two address here address one with the port 1521 and address two 1522 let's register the system for listener changes so how do we do that alter system register after hitting an enter key you can see the system ultra let's check the listener 2 in, is in service mode so ls nr ctl is this in a ctl status is in a two after hitting an enter key sorry we need to go a uh, grid user actually so this is a grid user so here is screen ls nr ctl status Say uh, yeah, we can see the instance db167 status ready. So thus the listener is in service mode. Now configure the TNS file in listener on your machine. Let's do it. In our earlier video where I explain the client software installation and this is the location where I installed the client software so this is the client home client underscore zero one inside this folder if we go the network directory and here we can see the admin one admin and here we can see the listener and TNS so I just want to uh, modify this one I just want to open this one in notepad uh, and here it is so I just want to uh, copy this one and paste it in below so I just want to give the name db167 underscore 1521 this is dedicated so I just want to copy this one and I just want to rename the file with 1522 and here the port will be 2 this is the CMG so I just want to ping the TNS 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 ping or TNS name DBA 167 underscore 1522 this is the newly created uh, TNS so after hitting an enter key we can see the status ok means our TNS being successful now connect the user by using this TNS so how do we do that SQL class a slash a this is the user actually so and then we need to give the TNS name this is the TNS name so dba167 underscore 1522 after hitting an enter key we can see the user A is connected CL SCR for user here we can see the user is A let's stop the newly created listener so listener 2 we will stop by using the srbctl server control utility so how do we do that we need to go back grid user again so i just want to clear the screen this is the command srbctl stop listener minus l this is the listener name listener 2 after hitting on enter key or listener stopped so if i connect this user by using uh, I just want to uh, exit this one and again execute this statement here 
we can see we see the no listeners means that our listener is now in stop mode so again i just want to start this one start and after hitting enter key our listener now started so fls if i execute this one then we can see the listener working fine now we will create another listener uh, another tns actually so this is the tns i just want to give the name one five uh, not actually two one two two so this is the listener name here we can see the two port so server is dedicated and service name 15db167 uh, i just want to save this one and i just want to go back the grid user now i just want to stop the listener to our listener to stopped if i uh, i just want to exist this one cls and then if i uh, try to connect by using this tms uh, uh, here we can see no listener because the 22 port is not available or listener is not available right now cls and now i just want to try with uh, two one underscore underscore to do after hitting an enter key we can see the gn is working fine because we can connect the user a through the port um, 221521 uh, instead of 1522 so here 1522 is not available right now but the 1521 uh, overcome to connect the user uh, instead of 1522. Now we will see uh, we will see how to easy connection or direct connection. So how do we do that? Let's see. On a slash a at the IP address 192.168.1.10 then port 1521 slash our instance name dba once service name actually dba167 after hitting an enter key we can see user is connected so user here the user is a till now we can see the listener we can create by using the srbctl server control utility now we will uh, create the listener by using oracle net service so let's see how do we uh, configure oracle net service configuration first we need to go the grid user actually so this is the grid user so here we need to run net manager net mng mng r mgr actually so after hitting an enter key uh, display environment variable not set or Net services a gui gui tool which is uh, requires okay fine we need to go back uh, uh, I have a mobile X term and this software we must have to install on our machine to uh, install the to open the net service manager so I just want to open this one and here new session SSS this is the host name 
192.168.1.10 and then specify username grid and then ok here we need to give the user password here so this is the grid user so here uh, I just want to write net mgr net manager actually after hitting an enter key we can see this is the oracle net manager here we can see the local and then listener here we already see created uh, two listener listener and listener true so from here we can create listener another listener here just click on plus button and then listener I just want to give the name listener 3 and then ok here this is the location here we need to give the address at here we need to give the host name 192.168.1.10 and then port the next port will be 1523 and then we can also specify the database service name so add here this is the global database dba167 home directory so seed the same value for seed sid so after that we need to save save network configuration our new newly created listener listener 3 created successfully so in this way we can create net and uh, the new listener by using net manager after creating the listener 3 by net manager we need to modify the uh, local listener so how do we do that we need to go back our uh, cc user actually so clscr here this is the command alter system set local listener address list this is the one this is two 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 and this is the two 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 three actually so after hitting an enter key system altered if we check the local parameter so parameter local here we can see the local listener and its value is changed to 223 22 and 221 so now we need to register this uh, this one by using alter system alter system register to active the uh, newly created uh, listener 21523 so alter system register system altered let's check the listener 3 is in service mode so how do we do that so listener status listener status so we need to execute this one in grid user actually so this is the grid user listener lsnr ctl status listener 3 after hitting an enter key you see no listener connection refused so first we need to stop this listener no listener uh, actually if you feel any difficulties so you can create the listener by using srpctl server control utility so this is the command here i just create another listener srpctl add listener minus l listener 3 with the port 1523 so you can use this command and after then you need to enable the listener 3 so how do you do that so enabled already enabled now start the listener start it if we check the listener status here you can see the no uh, service no service so uh, 
uh, we need to register system alter system register actually so uh, it needs to be run here so <coughs> sorry. and now we check here the device instance ready so the listener is in service mode now we will configure shared server configuration so let's check the shared server and shared parameter so parameter shared after hitting an enter key so we first need to go at um, cc directory so cl scr so parameter shared here we can see the possible names of a shared parameter so here um, we will say we will choose max shared value and shared server max max shared servers max shared servers and I just want to new one we will use this one and then <coughs> we will um, select max shared servers shared servers and then I say shared servers so this one and then we will check the dispatch dispatch so uh, show parameter dispatch after hitting an uh, enter key we can see the uh, max dispatches dispatcher so we will select uh, we will select max dispatcher and dispatchers max dispatcher and dispatchers this one and final one is circuit so parameter circ here the parameter so this five parameter we need to change for our shared uh, value and uh, dispatch and circuit so if we alter the value CLSCR alter system set max shared value with 5 alter system shared for server 2 max dispatcher 3 alter system set dispatchers pro TCP disk 2 hitting an enter key and then final one is circuit alter system set circuit 100 let's reconfigure the tns in tns.ora on client so if we go back the tns file uh, actually we need to go the tns location actually so this is the location so I just want to open this one in notepad and here I just want to another listener here dba167 mm, 21-22-23 let's go share so these are all dedicated connection 
for uh, TNS, but this one is for shared shared server. So I just want to save this one and copy this one, and this is our CMD. I just want to exit CLS. I just want to connect with the user A by using uh, by using uh, Oracle SQL developer actually so this is the user sys user so want to add SQL sheet actually so this is the SQL sheet so I just want to query with the user A for session. If I check this one, we see no session for user A. So if we connect the user with the user A, so SQL plus A slash A at dba one six seven underscore two one underscore two two underscore two three after hitting an enter key <coughs> sorry uh it the name of the tns is shared actually so need to give in the name here cls press underscore share uh, hitting an enter key we see the user a is connected so user here user is a so if we go back to uh, sql developer this is the sql developer if I select this one, we see that user A is session um, and here the server is none means this is a shared uh, connection so this is the shared connection when the server is none but if we connect with the user um, phone mm, a slash a this is the um, dedicated connection so let's see in on this command here we can see the a user dedicated connection from this uh, putty putty window and this command prompt window user session is shared so that's for reason we see the user a is dedicated in putty window and a user in uh, none for um, cmd so in this way we can use or you can uh, configure the shared and dedicated configuration so Now try to shut down the uh, shut down the shut down by using CCUser on client. So this is the client, and just want to switch the user on sys slash sys one two three as sys dba. So user user is nothing so first we need to configure this one uh, sys then sys 1 2 1 2 3 and then as sys db
sorry need to execute this one after exiting so this is the command if i execute this one here we can see the user is sees so this is the uh, dedicated in uh, shared user actually so if i execute this one uh, like one is shared server is shared so none are shared so from this shared user if we try to shut down the database instance shut down here we can see the message cannot sh start up shut down database when connected to a dispatcher this dispatcher means that this user connected to its shared server so we cannot uh, start or shut down by shared connection so how do we do that we do it by if we use the dedicated connection from here so let's see what is the advantages and disadvantages on dedicated connection each user process needs separate server process to connect the database and user can access de dedicatedly to server and get a response very rapidly on the other hand each user process use server process in shared mode that's why the memory optimization here then in dedicated connection memory optimization optimized memory is optimized here then dedicated connection Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep watching the next tutorial. Thanks.